In today's video, we're opening new Retro Pack mini boxes, searching for the unpulled Blue Eyes White Dragon. What is up, everybody? We are back with more Retro Pack openings because guess what? I pulled basically every card. That, well, I haven't pulled all the cards, some of the secrets, but I still haven't pulled the Blue Eyes. We pulled Dark Magician, we pulled Red Eyes, we pulled Summon Skull, we pulled all those classic cards. Somehow we have not pulled Blue Eyes. So what I've done is I've gathered several mini boxes. Let's just say um, a large amount of mini boxes, okay? And we're gonna be opening to potentially pull that Blue Eyes in today's video because uh, Blue Eyes cards may or may not have given us trouble recently when it comes to pulling them. But before we get into the opening, we have a giveaway. Demetrio sent me these cards when he sent me his consignment. So all you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Will we pull the blue eyes in this video? I do have a limited number of packs, so we will or won't. Like, I'm not just gonna open until we get it. We have, you know, because it's, you know, no cases or everything, there are booster boxes apparently, you know, so maybe we'll try to make a video if I can get my hands on one of those, but they're very hard to get. So I don't have a ton of packs. Let's see, will we get in this video? Let me know. This video is sponsored by What Whatnot. Whatnot is an auction platform app where you can buy from sellers such as myself and many other creators, influencers, celebrities, and many other sellers as well. I will be live on Whatnot this Thursday selling the new Retro Pack reprints which have just taken the Yu-Gi-Oh! world by storm. They're so much fun. There's so many foils inside. They look amazing because they're the old style cards. They are US only so I know a lot of international people have struggled getting them so we will have some available live on Whatnot for auction. There will also be Buy Now available. We'll also be giving away some mini boxes of Retro Pack 1 that you can win just by being at the stream. So make sure you go to Whatnot right now, click the link down below, get $15 free credit for new users. Then go to my profile, Ruxin34, bookmark the show, and then make sure you're there for the stream at 5 p.m. Central because we'll be doing all those giveaways, all those sales. It's gonna be really amazing. And don't forget to follow me as well because we're almost at 15,000. We might do a special opening for 15,000 when we get there. So make sure you give me a follow. This is gonna be super fun. Retro Pack is one of the most exciting reprints they've done in a while. I'm definitely a big fan of it. So I wanna see you guys at the stream. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. All right, let's start off with box one. I am gonna do a box Box by box just to kind of see like ow you got to be careful with that knife i almost stabbed myself um i where how do you open these i forgot how i open this is it from the top there we go okay yeah yeah, yeah. be careful with the knives ladies ladies and gentlemen it's not safe also i almost fell down this i kind of did fall down the stairs earlier carrying retro pack down you got to be careful like uh when you get old you might hurt yourself you might stab yourself with a knife by accident trying to cut open a pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards you might be walking downstairs with a bunch of boxes, then miss a step and then nearly take your ankle out. Fortunately, I didn't suffer any injury, thank goodness, but I was worried for a second. So yeah, when you get old like me, guys, look, all you younglings watching out there, enjoy your youth because when you get old like me, it gets tough, okay? Let me tell you, it gets real tough. It gets tough times out there. Uh, I don't remember what the pack trick is, so I'm just gonna go for it. Mystical Space Typhoon, UFO Turtle, Shining Angel, Oh, and we got a Relief Monster Secret Rare right off the bat, and it has a shifted name. The quality control on this product is pretty wild. I mean, there's no name secrets, which you've seen in a previous video, yesterday's video, go watch it if you missed it. There are shifted names. I mean, there's really miscut cards. There's everything you could possibly ask for in terms of crappy quality control. The thing about that is, it makes those misprints not as valuable because they happen more often, but Still very cool to see that giant soldier of stone. We have trap hole. I really just want to do like some sort of like draft, not necessarily draft, but just like pack opening sealed format summit skull right off the bat. That's two for two, by the way. Um, some sort of like format, not format, but where you just open packs. Like I get a friend and we open packs of retro pack and just do a duel. I think that'd be really fun, actually. Uh, Magic Jammery of Hain Hain, because honestly, uh, there are so many fun cards in here, like Upstar, you know, we could play the tunes, Raigeki's in here, just do no ban list, just like literally whatever you pull is what you get to use. It'd be super fun, Raigeki, I mean, that would already be in my deck immediately. Uh, maybe I should put together my deck at the end of this with what I pull and just see what my, my best deck would be. Just for a little, you know, maybe a little extra part at the end, I might do that actually, just throw together a quick 40 card deck. Um, probably no sleeves, so don't get mad at me, just because, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be uh it's gonna take a lot longer to sleeve the whole deck okay here we go retro pack it'd probably be very crazy i mean 
There, there's not, I mean, really anything too overpowered. Raigeki is super overpowered in this format, but like, there's nothing like that's gonna, there's no BLS or anything, you know? It's the monsters themselves are not that great. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll throw a sewage in, in there. We are three for four in terms of foils. Let's try to keep track of how many foils we pull out of the total number of packs. So, so far we're three for four. We'll have that pop up on the screen at the end of each mini box. Uh, the total number, we'll do like, you know, three for four, five for eight, etc. We have Cannon Soldier, we have Gazelle, Umiruka. I'm just having a lot of fun seeing these old school cards because I, I've been seeing so many more old school cards to I'm Wizard. Maybe that'd make the deck. So many more old school cards recently because I've been doing retro pack uh, openings. I've been doing Wield Goat for now nine episodes. Uh, starting this, well, on Friday, it'll be nine episodes. So we've done a bunch, a bunch of duels. It's been super fun. We have Harpy Lady, Thousand Dragon, Upstart, Toon World, Toon Mermaid. We have Mother Grizzly and Lord of D. Here we go. Lord of D is a rare, so not that crazy. So we're one for two so far. Okay, not too bad. Come on, chill out. We have Gravekeeper Servant, pretty annoying card. Magic Jammer, Flame Swordsman, Senju, Giant Germ. Luminous Spark, Sonic Bird, and Red Eyes, Black Dragon. We're getting all the cards except for the Blue Eyes, White Dragon. I don't remember how many Ultras are in here. It's probably like 10. We know Raigeki's in here. Red Eyes, Blue Eyes, Dark Magician. What are the other Ultras in the set? I'm trying to think if I can remember what they are. Thunder Dragon's a great card. We have uh, Toon Summon Skull. Not as good when you don't have, you know, Chaos Monsters, Mr. Tomato. And Solemn Judgment. That would definitely make the deck. Really amazing card. All right. So far... Yeah, I, I guess we should maybe mention the, the booster box thing that, like, I was saying they're all retail, you know? And they're randomly our booster boxes, but the weird part is, like, I think I talked about this yesterday a little bit, but nobody knew. Like, the normal people who get it from distributors and stuff like that, all those people, they didn't know. Randomly, it just, there were booster boxes. People had, like, Facebook market, like, not, not marketplace, but Facebook groups and stuff so random so i don't know what's going on with that uh apparently there are boxes i would be interested to see the ratios in those booster boxes i want to open one so if somebody gets a hold of one let me know and i'll try to do an opening uh it's pretty interesting that there's like this secret uh hidden release there's a very miscut hain hain hidden release of the booster boxes that nobody knew about until after the release very strange shiny angel giant true nate and the blue eye okay here it is the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. So I got a message about this. This was originally a promo. So what you did with Retro Pack is they had those whole like full boxes, which is what we're basically gonna open up today. There was eight mini boxes of three packs each. So you'd end up with 24 packs. So basically like a booster box. But in every pack of three mini box, you also got this as a promo and you could pull it. You can't, I mean, well, you couldn't in that, but now you could pull it as limited edition. It's like a secret limited edition. So instead of it being a limited edition promo like they normally are, this card is a pullable limited edition card, which is actually really cool. I don't know that they've ever done this before. Makes it kind of like an Easter eggy card. It's limited ed, it's not a promo, it's pulled in the packs. That's actually insane. So that's really exciting. Somebody messaged me about that. I'm trying to, I don't remember exactly what the name was, but shout out to the person who messaged me about that. Like, hey, that's going to be pulled in the pack. So I completely forgot about the promo. And that's so much, I mean, that's really cool. I mean, that's a beautiful looking Blue Eyes Ultimate. Cannon Soldier, really, really cool. Curse of Dragon, we have Gazelle. Uh, Umiruka, Mystical Space Typhoon, Guy Power, Mother Grizzly. And Catapult sort of still no Blue Eyes, by the way. Just throwing that out there. All right, come on, Blue Eyes. If you guys want me to keep opening until we get the Blue Eyes, let me know. Also, we will be opening more of these tomorrow on Whatnot, so keep an eye out for that. It's at 5 p.m. Central. If you guys have not followed me on Whatnot yet or gone over to Whatnot, you can get $15 free credit. And you don't want to miss this stream because there's going to be a lot of openings. So if you like opening, you don't want to buy anything, you can still go over there. You don't have to buy anything to be on Whatnot. You can buy some certain things. You can win giveaways just by being there. It's going to be super fun. I'm going to be giving away some mini boxes. It's going to be a great time. I'm super excited because people are excited about this set, and that always makes the streams even more fun. So it should be a great time. Relinquish is an ultra in here as well. That is a pretty sick card as well. I said as well twice. Back to back. You shouldn't say the same thing over and over, guys, when you're doing a video. But sometimes it happens. Send you. That might be. I might be making a relinquish deck for this. Uh, Luminous. And by. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm making the deck. I'm not actually playing anybody. We have Flame Swordsman. And Heavy Storm, dude. That's. That's got to go in there. Okay, yeah. This unlimited format, by the way. You can use whatever you want. This format that uh, I definitely just made up. It's the retro pack. It's not, is, draft isn't the right word because draft is where you pick. It's it's sealed, I guess, is the correct word. Sealed format. All right. Retro pack. Technically, um, 
It's a little bit different on these because you get four per mini box versus in the originals, it was only three, but you got the promo uh, blue eyes. So instead of opening eight mini boxes, we're opening six to get the 24 packs. Rux and special. We have a uh, flying Kamikiri, a UFO turtle, and a catapult turtle. We're going to do a little burn action, anybody? Anybody want to do a little burn action? No, maybe not. Maybe not. One, two, three, four. All right. We have Polly. We have Elegant Egotist, our ninja. We have Giant Soldier of Stone, Black Illusion Ritual for our Relinquished, Mega Rai Uran, Gaia Power, and Karibo, the first ever hand trap. During your opponent's battle phase, you can discard this card to reduce the battle damage inflicted to your life points to zero. Very nice. Here we go. So far, no Exodia. P oh, Exodia, another, another thing that's a uh, ultra rare. We've still not pulled blue eyes. I've heard of some people pulling like seven blue eyes in like a few boxes. I've pulled none. Maybe there's some clumping. That wouldn't make sense. There, there's usually clumping in this kind of stuff. Guy the Dragon Champion. Cool card. Not a great card, but very cool. Retro pack. Very classic for sure. Because, you know, Yugi. Yami Yugi using that card. Flame Swordsman. We have Curse of Dragon. Magic Jammer. Jurai Gumo. Sinju of the Thousand Hands. Very nice. We have Manga Ryuran. We have Giant Strunade. Sonic Bird. And there's our first Exodia. Right leg of the Forbidden One. We got a couple mini boxes left, still no blue eyes. If you guys are enjoying the video, don't forget to subscribe. We are making crazy progress till the 250K. Like, it's getting quick. Like, we might be there in like a month or two at this rate, maybe even faster if you guys hit that subscribe button. So hit that sub button. We're gonna open every pack ever made, including some retro pack, uh, original and reprint. So that's gonna be cool. We're also gonna be opening 24 packs of Magician's Force. It's gonna be really insane. So if you guys want to do that, make sure you subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out Ruxin34.com because over there is where I have a lot of things available. A lot of things. A lot of old school, a lot of new school, whatever you want. It's probably going to be on Ruxin34.com. All right. I need to make a jingle for Ruxin34.com. How lit would that be? We have a uh, Rising Air Current and Barrel Dragon. Okay. Still no blue eyes. We've opened a lot of Retro Pack. Like for the ratios of this set. We've opened a lot. Is there something about these blue eyes cards? They just do not want to be pulled. I don't know if you guys have ever heard the Dragon Master Magia. I don't know. I don't know. Arm Ninja. Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beast. This monster moves so fast that it looks like an illusion to mortal eyes. That's pretty fast. Black Pendant. Cannon Soldier. Giant Shear. Toon Mermaid. We got Mystic Tomato. Upstar Goblin. And the Penguin Soldier. Classic. You can return up to two monsters. Up to two monsters. Doesn't have to be two. Better than the Green Kappa, which has to have two. Spill and traps. Okay. We have Curse of Dragon. Mahavilo. The ultimate Axe of Despair combo. This, though, with, with Mage Power United we stand is pretty wild. Seven tools. Black Pendant. Rising Air Current. We have Manga Ryu Ran. Toon Summon Skull. Nimble Mamonga. And the Magician of Fate. That's definitely going to make it into our deck. Great card. We have a retro pack, final pack before the final mini box. So five total packs left to be open. Still no blue eyes has been pulled. If we don't pull it, let me know if you want to see it pulled in a future video and maybe we can do another retro pack video. If you guys want to see more retro pack, yeah, make sure to let me know and we'll do more. Uh, Karibo. There's probably going to be one tomorrow for the, uh, you know, before, right before the stream. Not before, but, the, you know during the day before the stream. And that could be our last retro pack video, unless you guys really want to see more. I'll have to keep looking for more because, you know, it is pretty hard to get this stuff. I'm not sure exactly how much I'm going to get because, you know, I told you the story of where I ordered on GameStop. They kept denying, like saying it wasn't working, but I'm not 100% sure it didn't work. So I might end up with like way more boxes than I thought or way less. So I really have no idea. I'm kind of in limbo here, but I do have a decent amount enough for today tomorrow but after that we probably maybe have to get more we'll see okay four from the back will we pull the legendary uh engine of destruction the what is it called the blue eyes white dragon the invincible no it's like the legendary end of destruction or something i don't know mystical space typhoon heels enru and sangha of the thunder sangha sangha of the thunder three packs left so far been a fun video i've enjoyed it I like opening those retro pack packs, pack packs, retro pack packs. <laughs> They're very fun. But what I do want to do is pull the blue eyes white dragon. Also, another secret would be nice. The secrets are actually a little bit tough to pull. We've only pulled one out of this 24 pack lot so far. Uh, Gaia power. Let's see if we can pull one right here or the blue eyes. Shining angel. Oh, I thought that was it. Lajin, mystical genie of the lamp. I was like, look. Normal card, vanilla. But instead, it was a genie of the lamp that's at the 
back and call back and call this master. I always read that wrong. This is really small text. So like back in the day, it didn't matter. Now that I'm old, I got to like get it way up here. Like, hey, what's going on? I can't see this thing. All right. I'm nearsighted. All right, guys. I have contacts. It doesn't matter. I'm still nearsighted. OK, two packs left. Will this be the blue eyes right here? Blue eyes, white dragon or the thousand dragon? Gravekeeper servant, mask of darkness, magic jammer, rising air current, the UFO turtle, upstart goblin, mystical space typhoon, and a heavy storm. Oh my goodness, not bad at all. Leaving us with the final pack of the video. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because, you know, 250K is coming up. Also, check out ruxin34.com to support the channel. A lot of stuff available over there. Booster boxes, old, new, sealed, graded cards, ungraded cards. There's all kinds of stuff over there. Go check it out. Here we go. And don't forget to check out Wheel Goat on Fridays as well. That's coming up very soon. There's a nine episode playlist. Well, Friday will be nine. So eight episode playlist right now. Here we go. Flame Swords. And we have seven tools. Insect, uh, Man Eater Blood. <laughs> I said red insect. Uh, Twin Headed. We have Senju of the Thousand Hands. Giant Germ. Umi Ruka. Toon World. Oh, and a second Relinquish. Oh, I was about to say. This is. I was going to try to, like, you know, build a deck real quick with Relinquished at one. I was like, that's kind of brutal. But two relinquish definitely makes that a lot more doable with our Sinjus, our Sonic Birds. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to build a quick 40 card fun deck profile out of Retro Pack. Let me know if you want to see me do an episode where we do an opening and then maybe dual and master duel or something with it. And maybe I can make that happen. OK, I threw together a quick deck and there is a surprising lack of back row in Retro Pack overall. So here's what I came up with. We have the two relinquish. I know this is going to hurt. No, uh, no sleeves, but it kind of works better as we go through. We only got two, but that's still pretty good. We have the searcher for the, uh, you know, the actual ritual monster card. So we can search for relinquish with three Sinju. We have three. Uh, let's let's do it like this. So you guys can actually see three Sonic Bird to search out the Black Illusion Ritual. We're playing three Man Eater Bug because there's a weird, I mean, there's just not a lot of different cards in this set. Pretty good in this set, like for this the set format, I guess. One Magician of Faith, we only got one. I bet a bunch of the rares have a lot of the variety and we didn't get too many rares because we kept playing foils, you know? So uh, Magician of Faith's a great card. One Hain Hain, very miscut. Penguin Soldier, because, you know, it just has an okay effect. Joy Gumo is the biggest guy in the format, so I grabbed him. La Jin, the biggest guy without a downside, at least that I pulled. Uh, one Gazelle, because he's a decent attack monster. Two Giant Soldier for the 2k defense, though Jirai can attack over him. Three Black Illusion to summon out our Relinquished. One Raigeki is the best card we probably pulled. Two Heavy Storm, because this would be unlimited, so I'd play two Heavy Storm. Why not? Three Upstart just to draw into our cards. One Black Pendant, because there really aren't that many options for spells and traps. Like, it's pretty bleak. Three Gaia Power, because we have a lot of Earth monsters. Not all of them are Earth, but... I mean, it felt like I needed 40 cards. It was either play three more monsters or play something that powers up most of my monsters. One giant true nade, one judgment, then uh, three magic jammer. That's how desperate we were at the trap. I, I wanted some traps, seven tools, and then one trap hole. So I'm assuming there are like other cards that I didn't pull, but in terms of like back row and stuff, it's not amazing. It's a lot of big monster do its thing. So maybe I'm kind of planning on doing potentially a video where I open up and battle somebody in maybe Master Duel or something like that when we put, get our pulls and see what we can play. It might be a lot of fun or it could be just complete beat fest. Just, you know, <laughs> attack over, attack over. But we'll have to see if that happens. If you want to see it, let me know in the comments. Shout out to Tolan Fosho, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutscher, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa Jr. Barding, Robert F. Changelang, and Aldelsa Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.